You're gonna hit something in life that's a lot tougher than you, and it's gonna test your will, and it's gonna test your heart. And if it's just about you, and if it's just about the product, it will bust you. Every day I get up, I understand. It's somebody in the free world that's looking at me to see if I'm gonna keep going, and so I can't quit. And so I went back to school the next week after they had just saved my life. I was back in class. I had to learn how to write all over again. I had to learn how to walk all over again. I had to learn how to tie my shoe all over again. I had to learn how to bathe all over again. I had to learn how to live life all over again. And never one time. Then the bottom falls out. Everything is coming up roses. Then the bottom falls out. Everything is working out in his favor. And then the bottom falls out. Somebody ought to be able to testify that life starts going your way finally. Then the bottom falls out. A parent is sick and you have to take care of them for years. I got a witness here. You worked on the job 35 years and now you're laid off. You plan your retirement and now you have to take care of your grandchildren. You plan for life to work a certain way and then the bottom falls out. You're looking for this and God sends fire. I need somebody to help me testify that even though you love God, even though you come to church, even though you read the Bible, just because you're a Christian does not mean that the bottom will not fall out. You, you have to be, you have to be awfully immature to think that every day is going to be a good day. Somebody ought to help me testify. Some days are better than other days. Some days, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Especially when you get over 50. Uh, I, I was telling the church this morning, uh, yesterday it was my left shoulder hurt. And I got that straight this morning, now it's my right shoulder hurt. Then if it's not your shoulder, it's your leg. If it's not your leg, it's your back. If it's not your back, your washing machine goes out. If it's not your washing machine, you got to flap when you get up in the morning. If it's not a flat, you got to snap your oldest son down. If it's not your oldest son, it's your youngest daughter. Somebody will help me testify. If it ain't one thing, it's another. It's three, four, five, six things. Because when you serve God, it does not mean that the bottom will not fall out. Some people, you're not lazy. You just have infinite goals. What we want to do here is get some goals that are driving, goals that got some power behind them. And the way to do that, realize that right now you're about to create a real future that can make a major difference for you. That right now you're not just writing words down on the page, but even though you don't know how this is going to happen yet, but if you get something that you really want and you make it strong enough and you find strong enough reasons, you will find a way. And if you make your goals so real, Get, once you know what your goals are, to make it so real in your mind that it feels as if you already have them. When you get to that level where your brain actually believes it's already happened, something clicks. And oftentimes, in a short period of time, that goal becomes realized. I mean, in physical situations, things start to happen. I know this sounds metaphysical, but all I can tell you is it's worked in my life and it's worked for other people. Being able to create something first in our mind, everything around you in your life right now started out at one time as a thought. I mean, think about it. What are some things that you have in your life right now? Some relationships, some people, some skills, some beliefs, maybe a job that once was nothing but a goal. You're in that same moment now of creation.